We appreciate you staying with us. TMJ4 is working to include more local news throughout the 4 o'clock hour, getting you caught up with what's happening across Southeast Wisconsin. So every Monday now, we'll be putting the spotlight on Sheboygan in partnership with the team at the Sheboygan Sun. And this afternoon, look, we have someone with me <laughs> today. Join the studio by managing editor of the publication, Tara Jones. Let's start with... Uh, just what the Sheboygan Sun is, because some people may be unfamiliar. So what sure. kind of stories do you guys work on? Yeah, so the Sheboygan Sun, we actually started as a free mailer shopper. Okay. Um, so we have about 35,000 circulation and we go to the city of Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls, Howard's Grove, and then the city routes in Plymouth. So what we did is in 2020, we took that product, revamped it, and now we're a news publication. Um, so in that, we really just try to be you know, the storytellers of the community. So we cover news, we follow city government, we follow plenty of things to do. There's there's a lot of things to do in Sheboygan. People don't give it enough credit, but um, so we just kind of try to get a scope on a little bit of everything. Um, again, we just launched our website in 2020 and we're up to 200,000 page views. So that's good. we're doing pretty well so yeah. far. <laughs> there are probably hidden gems in Sheboygan. That there are, you there all are, yes, I, I do. Well, you mentioned <laughs> stories that you guys have covered, so I want to talk about that. The city of Sheboygan released its semi-annual report on its use of American Rescue Plan funding. So what all what all did you guys learn about how the money was used by the city of Sheboygan? Yeah, so the city, again, it's not unlike what a lot of cities are doing, but mm -hmm. it's really smart usage of the funds. Um, so they just announced their reporting for the January through June 30th spotlight here. Okay. And um, they essentially, in that time, they had about um, $11.3 million to spend in that time allocated for the time. And about uh, nine and a half of that is going towards the raw water intake project, essentially providing clean water for the city of Sheboygan. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was about 9.5 million, total of about 41 million for the entire project. So obviously still a way to go there, but yeah. that makes a nice dent in it. You know, the, the project, what they're doing is replacing that raw water intake, which essentially juts out 6,500 feet into Lake Michigan replacing that again just because of old age wear down mm -hmm. like Michigan can be a little bit of a beast on those oh yeah <laughs> to say the least yes yeah and then um, replacing the pump that the mechanism that makes that work and then as well um, the the shore well so up there on uh, the shore near Volrath Park and then um, in addition about eight hundred thousand dollars of those went to um, and is still going to the Uptown Social Senior Center. Okay. Um, so again senior citizens are a very big population and a very big part of Sheboygan and Sheboygan County so they want to service them well. Um, they actually bought the former Save-A-Lot building uh, which is kind of in a little bit more of a residential 8th Street um, so it's really great location. Again they're just planning on taking that and, and really revamping it and making it more of a community hub and an additional uh, senior center. So nice. again, you know, kind of frees up some of those funds at 11 million. Those can go to future projects the city is working on um, and just kind of really help them get a little bit ahead there. Well, you mentioned save a lot. So I want to talk about businesses here and just yep. development. So there's a new business for anyone o over the age of 12, right? 12 yes. and over where they are able to just get their frustration. Down. <laughs> we all love that, right? <laughs> it's called the Rough Rage Room. So just tell us a little bit about that and what the Rough Rage Room is offering. Yes. Yeah. One of the nice things about our job is we always get a scoop on the new businesses uh -huh. coming to town. Um, and this one was one that I texted my friends and family. I'm like, guys, this one's, this <laughs> one's exciting. Go. <laughs> we got to do this. Um, so for those of you not familiar with the Rage Room, um, a little bit what this is, is they actually have set up uh, three smash rooms. Okay. So they give you protective gear. Can we see some video? Yes, yeah. Yes. So uh, three smash rooms and then um, they can, again, you can pick your, your um, weapon of choice. So it'll be a crowbar, sledgehammer, baseball bat, golf mm -hmm. club. You can really go in I'm there. Sorry, what, I, what I want to choose. <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, and essentially what they do is they set up a bunch of appliances, glass, furniture, um, all of that stuff, so that you can just kind of go to town, take okay. out some frustration. They also have um, what they're calling a splatter room. Mm -hmm. So they set up a uh, little 16 by 20 canvases, and you can again just kind of let the paint splatter go up and do a little bit of painting yourself. Um, and and really nice added touch, you can provide your own playlist. Well, they open on Thursday the 18th. There we go. I'll be there first day. <laughs> yes, yeah. And um, again, all of that uh, information, they've, get, they've got a variety of, you know, 20 minutes to an hour. You okay. can go up to eight people. All of that can be found online on their website. 
Nice. Okay. And lastly, before we go, a national restaurant chain potentially on its way to Sheboygan. <laughs> Drum roll. What is it? <laughs> Olive Garden. There we go. <laughs> so in the two years I've lived in Sheboygan, one thing uh, that, that I know for sure is that people want Olive Garden uh, in Sheboygan County and it could potentially be coming. So in the town of Sheboygan, um, the way that it kind of works through the city process here is it was approved by the city plan commission. Okay. Um, so now it just has to go through to the town board to be approved. We're expecting that to be, they have a meeting tomorrow, probably be on that agenda or in the coming months here. Um, and this is going to be on the northeast corner of Highway 42, mm -hmm. right off of Interstate 43. So kind of in that same spot as the Texas Roadhouse, Arby's, there's the Culver's over there, all your all your Sheboygan staples. <laughs> so the residents of Sheboygan asked for it. The city is answering They're Yep, they're trying. There we go. <laughs> all right, Tara Jones with the Sheboygan Sun. Thank you so much for thank being you. with us here at four. And we look forward to seeing you every Monday. I look forward to it. Thank you. There we go. And hey, if you would like to read more about some of the topics that we just covered, all you have to do is go to SheboyganSun.com. You can find stories about real estate, things to do in the area, as we talked about today in business news. All right.